Hello and welcome to day 14 of our January prayer challenge, day number 14. Here we go. Uh, we're two-thirds of the way through, and uh, this is not just prayer, but prayer and fasting. So I pray that uh, that you are truly uh, finding some encouragement, uh, some strength during this time as you are dedicating more of yourself to to God and uh, and spending more time with Him in prayer. Let's get started. So it's day 14, and today we're praying for responsibility, or we're praying to be more responsible. And our scripture comes out of Romans chapter 14, and I just want to uh, kind of give you a, a, a background here. Actually, let's just read this. Let's read uh, Romans chapter 14, verse 1 says, Accept other believers who are weak in faith, and don't argue with them about what they think is right or wrong. For instance, one person believes it's all right to eat anything, but another believes that with a sensitive conscience they'll only eat vegetables. Those who feel free to eat anything must not look down on those who don't, and those who don't eat certain foods must not condemn those who do, for God has accepted them. Who you who are you to condemn someone else's servant? Their own master will judge whether they stand or fall, and with the Lord's help, they will stand and receive his approval. In the same way, some think one day is more holy than another, while others think that every day is alike. You should each be fully convinced that whichever day you choose is acceptable. Those who worship the Lord on a special day do it to honor him. Those who eat any kind of food do so to honor the Lord, since they give thanks to God before eating. And those who refuse to eat certain foods also want to please the Lord and give thanks to God. For we don't live for ourselves or die for ourselves. If we live, it's to honor the Lord. And if we die, it's to honor the Lord. So whether we live or die, we belong to the Lord. We belong to God. Christ died, this is verse 9, Christ died and rose again for this very purpose, to be Lord of both the living and the dead. So why do you condemn another believer? Why do you look down on another believer? Remember, we will all stand before the judgment seat of God. For scriptures say, as surely as I live, says the Lord, every knee will bend to me and every tongue will declare allegiance to God. Verse 12 says, yes, each of us will give a personal account to God. Or in other words, we are responsible to God, that we have a responsibility towards God. So let's stop condemning each other. Decide instead to live in such a way that you will not cause another believer to stumble. And you know, as, as believers and as members of the body of Christ, that we, we are working together, that our goal should be the same as other members of the body of Christ. And so uh, taking responsibility of ourselves and making sure, and I love how he finishes uh, what we just read here in verse 13, decide instead to live in such a way that you will not cause another believer to stumble and fall. Listen, if you can do that, if you can live in a way that, that keeps somebody else, another believer, a young believer, a, an old believer, how, you know, however long they've been a believer, if you can live in such a way that, that they don't question not just their faith, but to question your faith, then you are taking responsibility, that you are being a responsible uh, child of God because you will be responsible for how you live and how you treated other believers and others uh, that God has sent you across their path. You will be responsible to God for how you treated them. Uh, you know, as, as, as Paul is writing to the church at Rome, this was such a, a different um, I, idea of of what it meant to follow God and what it meant to worship God, and they were trying to go from being legalistic of what they could do to being people that lived by faith because of what Jesus did. And our responsibility is not; it should never, never fall on uh, legalism. And well, I can, and I can't, and I can, I can, I can't. It should always be because it always it should always be. I do because of Christ in me. I That's the responsibility that we're supposed to take now, is that now our actions are motivated by what Christ did for me when he died on the cross, and he's become my Lord. So let's pray. Let's pray today that we'll, we'll take that in, that we'll understand that, understand that responsibility that we have 
towards other believers and even towards non-believers that we are responsible for the life that we live before them and and that we we live according to Christ and and because of what he did for us. Father, we love you and praise you and we thank you, Lord, for your word. Thank you, Father God, that that you encourage us through your word. Father God, that you tell us that Christ uh, that he is the Lord of the living. And, and that, Father God, that we are alive today because of Jesus Christ. And that we will be alive forevermore because of Jesus Christ. And so, Father, I just ask you, I ask you today to help us to be to be more responsible, to, to understand the responsibility that we have, that it's not a responsibility of the things I can and can't do, but it's the responsibility of living a, living a life that, that mirrors and that it reflects what Christ has done for us, that he loved us, that he died for us, that he, uh, he, he saved us, and that we should have that same mentality when it comes to, uh, to other, believers, other believers and other non-believers too, that, that we, we have a love for them that is there to, to, to keep them from stumbling, from keep them from falling, from, from helping them to know who Jesus Christ is so that, so that they can know God, know you better, and to understand who they are through Christ who saved them. And Father, I just thank you for that. Lord, I thank you that you continue to send people across our path that we can minister the gospel to, that we can share the love of God with. And that, Father God, that we are looking forward to that day when we can stand before you and you tell us, well done, my good and faithful servant. We thank you for it in Jesus' name. Amen. You guys have a great day.